I don't know if it was a blogger or some comments from individuals on Twitter, but someone uh, got Lloyd Banks out here rapping like he's an unsigned artist with a major point to prove. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. Please show some love and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All of that is greatly appreciated. But today, I'm going to hit y'all with my thoughts on this new project from Lloyd Banks entitled Halloween Havoc for the 72nd hour. Southside Jamaica Queens veteran MC Lloyd Banks is back with his second drop of 2023. Now this comes right after the very dope Cotty 3. Back in 2020, uh, Lloyd Banks essentially re-emerged on the scene to kick off what has been uh, an impressive second run of his career. All three Cotty albums have been viewed as successes, uh, and I somewhat liken uh, what Lloyd Banks has done since about 2020 uh, to that of what both Nas and Ransom uh, have uh, respectively accomplished as well. But getting right into Halloween Havoc 4, uh, fans have waited seven years for Banks to return with something from the Halloween Havoc series, and allegedly this was completed in a mere three days, hence the 72-hour uh, portion of the title. These 15 songs lasting approximately 47 minutes. The only features are Votto and Sire the Kid, and we are getting a, a lot of three verse songs from Banks. Uh, so you already know there's a lot to digest lyrically. Uh, but with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. The opener, Above the Law, has this gritty piano backdrop. It's that chilly cold corner music. Banks is setting this aggressive tone right out the gate, letting us all know that he's choosing violence and he's trying to take all his ops heads off Lyrically, he states, I'm starting to feel like an alien. I'm gonna keep it 3,000. So that was a dope little nod to Outcast. Banks also adds classic tapes. I had them for you Golden Records, Platinum Sport. So, as a whole, this was a hard hitting opener uh, where you immediately got the sense that he wasn't playing. Track 2 Convoy uh, also has this nocturnal head nod in production. Banks is really uh, in the zone on this track. Just Feeding the streets with quotables. All my notebooks should be wrapped in plastic with the grip. How I'm flipping shit like chap gymnastics. Who put all the rest in pieces on your tattoo practice? There's a difference between arguably and actual classics. Now that classics line hits different. So really dug some of the braggadocia like... Never seen someone with skills like mine. Banks is a unicorn. I'm going to be killing shit in any song you introduce me on. My peers are paranoid. I pray somebody proved me wrong. So altogether, uh, another very uh, impressive lyrical display. Track three, Familiar Scars. Uh, it has a definitive Lloyd Banks instrumental in that it's icy and grim. While he is talking about survival uh, and being used to the scars, uh, he does uh, offer some comedic moments like my daughter bright as Sam Sosa. Why'd you release that shit? Those songs give off a garbage odor. Banks also talks about being cut uh, from the cloth of the golden era vets. Uh, he's making the distinction between the new school with in this new era of females that make the shorties go ratchet. I lasted descendants of those in the golden bracket. Um, overall, another uh, tense and bar heavy record. Next is Speed in Season, which has more nighttime keys and punchy drums. Uh, this is one of those beats you can lace your Timberlands up to. Here he's talking about being on go mode uh, and not letting up on the competition. Stand up bars include... You don't want me blacking it out, causing a solar eclipse when clicking. Little dudes clapping off the roof and they ain't flipping pigeons. That was hard. And uh, funny how when I'm out, you're not wondering where my copy been. Jacking my style to a T. How can we not be twins? After this is Dangerous Minds, which is slightly spacier uh, and slower tempo-wise, uh, but likely the eeriest instrumental here there are some sharp one-liners and i also like the flow he said a buck 50 is a satan's grin there's quite a bit of boasting on this track um 
couldn't deal with the old banks. What the F they gonna do with this? Yeah, all in all, dope song that has the most uh, Halloween sounding beat thus far. Following this is No Opinions, uh, produced by Cartoon Beats. So I like the ethereal vocal harmony and the dusty drums. And this is one of the hardest songs on the project. Banks, uh, he wants all the smoke. He states, I knocked 40 rappers off your top 50 list. Some other really impressive lines were, I made it, but my time ahead of me is my coldest years. I got gloves on and they hit in like them folding chairs. My favorite time is the winter because it's too cold for tears. Right after is the up-tempo banger of Clubbing and Chaos, which sonically sounds like a mix of the old and new banks. Uh, this record has that bold uh, shit-talking energy. Here he's talking a little disrespectful. I'm shitting. Your hood is my public bathroom uh, he's also calling out the wannabe tough guys with lines like he claimed me a rider nobody know him. then there is diamond heist with vado uh and this has a dark but chic instrumental that sounds like it was tailor-made for vado um banks has a fly line still never repeat the same shit with drip i'm superstitious so as someone who doesn't like to repeat their clothes all that often, I definitely dug this line. And he's flexing more of his wit on bars like a hit list on Gucci paper. It gives me elegance. I put a bag on you the size of Missy Elliott. So that is going to likely give those vintage uh, Punchline King vibes. Bono delivered as well, but I did feel Banks was a standout between the two. Immediately after is Trap Dice, which uh, does offer more of that late night Driving under city lights feel, uh, it's dark, but the keys are lavish. Banks once more comes through with the slick one-liners. The streets are shady, my rolly hand is my flashlight. Also, clout will clog your nose, but would you know a million in cash if you could sniff it? So here, uh, it seems like an obvious uh, shot at some of the new generation cats who... Uh, may care more about clout than actually getting to that bag. Track 10 is Broken Arrow, and it's introspective banks, plain and simple, rapping over this uh, dreary, calm after the storm like beat. He has some words uh, for his critics who uh, feel compelled to construct these rap lists. His tone here feels very Conway, very Griselda ish, though. Um, too dangerous for your rap lists. Keep me the F from off them. But I also really like the deep line on here. Yapping will get you killed. They lied when they said talk is cheap. Track 11 is You Shouldn't Be Here. And it's set to some somber strings that do give off a pensive mafioso quality. And Banks is just spilling more uh, of his pain into his pain. He talks about betrayal and how some people are just meant to switch up on you. Some bars that stood out to me were... All my enemies shook at me, something happens to me, a loved one did it, and uh, scratched caskets and cracked urns. I ain't never rest. After this is roaming weather, which contains another dreary, rainy day beat. Banks gives us more food for thought and uh, offering up some streetwise poetry. It's thinking man's rap. A real standout quotable was, word of mouth is easy to scatter. Don't let the streets judge you. Them stains ain't coming out. Ain't no rinse and repeat. You. Things do stay on this ghostly, otherworldly tip on the following song, Take Me Under, uh, produced by Cartoon Beats, which is a standout. It's gloomy and psychedelic, but it's also a perseverance anthem. Uh, Banks is reminding us that he's back to betting on himself again. He did drop the jewel. Chances won't look for you, so you gotta perform them when you get the spot. Second, the last song is Bad Advice with uh, Cy Ari the Kid, and it's kind of your standard relationship record from Banks. I do tend to like when he does go into this bag uh, because he is a natural at it. Uh, and in this case, it does uh, lighten the darker mood of the preceding song. But the hook from Sire to Kid, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Then this project wraps up with the heartfelt closer, uh, Condolences. Uh, the softer atmospheric tones and the faint soul harmony are beautiful. Banks is speaking on a multitude of things here, like the loss of his dad, the state of the rap game, and uh, he's giving out some life lessons that are motivation. Some of the illest bars were, 
Dudes took the struggle out the game. That's when hip hop went under. Pain's my bitch. She took my heart at 13. Hard not to love her. At the same time, the damage inflicted. It makes you tougher. So overall, I'm going to give this project a rating of four mics. I know it's early, but it's somewhere around a four and a 4.2 for me. Like I said earlier, I don't know what it was, but someone lit a flame under Banks, uh, inspired him to uh, turn it up a notch. I know he's been going hard since the Cotty series, but I feel he did uh, you know, put on a master class in rapping for us here. It was jam-packed with quotables, and I feel he did give fans uh, some variety. Topically, you did get those cryptic street tales and those pain-soaked somber scriptures uh, and uh, some really bold, flat-out braggadocia. Instrumentally, this was very solid and not much of a departure from the darker atmospheric sonics from the Cotty series. And even though I did enjoy the production, I did feel there was a slight sequencing issue towards the final leg, uh, where some of the songs on the back end tended to be on the gloomier side, and perhaps they could have been broken up a bit. But at the end of the day, I do possibly enjoy this album slightly more uh, than the best of the Cotty series. My favorite tracks include Convoy, Familiar Scars, Speeding Season, Dangerous Minds, No Opinions, Clubbing, and Chaos, Trap Dice, Take Me Under, and Condolences. But let me know your thoughts on this project in the comment section. It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out. Uh, but as always, it's peace and blessings. Lloyd Banks, Halloween Havoc 4-1.